being lost from from the Christian, the the, the overall say Christian mind, and it just simply has to do with wicked people calling on God for their judgment and for their you know help on them, and then God bringing judgment upon these wicked people, and that this being something that a, a godly person does is seeking the Lord for help and seeking the Lord to bring judgment on wicked people and wicked doers, and and you know wanting to have that justice executed. I don't know why this is such a problem these days. People are, will, will, you know, take what I'm saying and say like, oh, that's so unchristian and oh, what a bad attitude. And they, just, they just don't know their Bible very well at all. This is something that was very commonplace and very well understood because it's something that's just, you don't even have to believe in God to have the sense of justice and judgment when people do wicked things, they, they deserve to be punished, and it's a good thing to have judgment brought down upon really wicked people. But people have gotten so soft lately, it's just, it's kind of like they, they've taken this, this real bad extreme of, of having this, this snowflake soft attitude towards just everything. Now look, I, I know we're all sinners. And that is, a, that is a fact. Of course that is. But be careful with taking anything just, just way off into some extreme that is not biblical. We see oh, so much scripture about judgment and God judging and, bringing, and, and, and this being a positive thing. It's a good thing. Hey, when you're being persecuted, and, and you know what? I think part of the reason is because people have stopped living a Christian life. They, they, they believe in God, and they give lip service to God, and they say how great Christians they are, but because they're not really in the Word, because they don't even know what these Scriptures say, they don't even know what the Bible teaches, they're not living their life according to the Bible, so they're not experiencing any of the persecution that... This is more foreign to people, especially in the United States, where in general there, there isn't much persecution anyways. And the only persecution you're going to find are against people who are really living a separated, sold-out life for the Lord. Anyways, all of your mild Christianity are suffering like zero persecution. And when that's the case... You know, th what we've seen happen is people have just kind of gotten soft on this whole. And, and, you know, the other part aspect of that, too, is when a lot of people don't want to have any judgment, oftentimes it's because they're involved with a lot of sin. And that's understandable, too. Look, when I was living a completely worldly life as a saved person, I didn't want to bring up anything about the Bible because I wasn't listening to it. I wasn't following it. So who am I to say anything, right? I mean, you don't want to be a hypocrite. At least, I mean, some people don't. I didn't want to be a hypocrite, so I didn't bring up very much. I didn't talk about Jesus. I didn't talk about the Lord because here I am just going off in all kinds of sin. And what you're going to find is then when people hear that judgment, you could respond a few different ways. You could either hear it and go, look at yourself and go like, oh, man. You know what I need? Is, that's right. This is right. This is, this, is, this is the Word of God. And the judgment is right. And we need proper judgment. But I better get right myself. <laughs> yeah, I can't say anything about anyone else right now. But when I start, you know, that's why I need to get myself cleaned up, straightened out, and get this sin out of my life. Because people need to hear the truth. We need to have judgment. We need to have righteous judgment. And it can't come from someone who's just all off in their own sin anyway. So when people are off in their own sin, if they don't have that type of an attitude, they might just start getting this, oh, we'll just take it easy on them. I mean, we're all sinners, come on. Because they don't want judgment coming down on them, and they still want to continue living the way that they live. 